Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Ishan Sharma and this is the episode number 14 of Bitscast. And today I have a very special guest. She is Khushbu Verma. She is the incoming software developer intern at Microsoft. She's also a golden Microsoft student partner and she's a GitHub campus expert. She's an Explore ML facilitator and she's been coding for a long time. And in this episode she, she shares some of the best tips that she has had uh, on how you can code and uh, what has her experience has been like and just a bunch of great advice for anyone looking out to learn to code and uh, how can one get into Google Code in as a mentor and teach teenagers on how to code. I think that this was a pretty good episode. Uh, I hope you all will enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's just get started with the episode now. And now let's get right into the episode. Hello, Kushbu. Thank you so much for joining me here for this podcast. Uh, how are you doing today? Hi, Ishan. Thank you for inviting me for the pod- podcast. I'm doing amazing. It's good to be here. Yeah, th- 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 thanks a lot. So uh, the first time I discovered you through LinkedIn and I was just amazed to see what all you've done uh, and uh, all of the internship and the campus expert and the ambassador that, that you've gotten, these are opportunities. So like, how did you, what has your journey been like in coding and how did you start to learn to code? Um, so thank you. Um, uh, basically, I'm from a non-CS background in my school. I had biology. So um, I had actually PCMB. So I decided to opt for engineering um, because um, I didn't want to pursue uh, MBBS. So uh, when I just joined engineering, so I was not uh, familiar with any of the programming languages. So it was quite difficult for me to you know, get in uh, because everybody around me, those who were from CS background, were already comfortable with coding. So um, I reached out to my friends who were good with coding and I asked them to help me out. So I started off with C. So I okay. started Let It See by Ashwant Anikar and it was a really nice book. And then uh, I just started coding in C. Um, but then I was still not feeling very confident. So I joined Coding Blocks. Um, so the first course I did from there was Java. After doing that course, I really felt confident. It helped me build my basics. And then I started regularly practicing uh, programming questions on different platforms like Hacker Rank and then Geeks for Geeks. And then that is how I developed my coding skills. Mm-hmm. That, that's great. And how did you uh, start with the Microsoft Student Partner Program? Um, so uh, at our university, we have a lot of technical communities and they keep on organizing a lot of technical events. So one such event was being organized by Microsoft Student Partners on my campus. So at that time, okay. I ha- I was not very familiar with what this program is about. So I just contacted the two people whose contact details were mentioned there. So they redirected me to the Microsoft Student Partners website. And that is how I got to know about the program. I was really interested because it was a platform to, you know, interact with the global community and learn from Microsoft mentors. So I straight away applied for the program and it has been uh, my second year into this program and it has been a great yeah. journey so far. So mm-hmm. I have learned a lot. Yeah. And did that help you in getting your internship uh, at Microsoft? Um, no, internships at Microsoft are not directly related to the student partner program. Um, but okay. yes, I did mention to my uh, interviewer once I was in the interviewer interviewing phase um, that I have been a Microsoft student partner program. And through that program, I have got to learn about a few Microsoft technologies. Mm-hmm. Was that interview like off off campus or on campus to, uh, by your college? So in my campus, Microsoft visited us on campus. Uh, but okay. for me, it was like that I was also a part of the Microsoft Coders program, which is an yeah. initiative by Microsoft for female coders, second year undergraduates. Mm-hmm. So okay. I was a part of their mentorship program for a period of two months uh, before our interviews. Uh, during that program, we got in touch with Microsoft mentors. I even got an opportunity to go to Microsoft Hyderabad campus. Um, so wow. we used to get coding assignments and then we had mentors whom we could reach out to. How was that experience like? So it was really amazing because uh, we had a coding test. And out of that coding test, they had selected some 200 girls from all over India who were a part of this okay. mentorship program. And we were paired with mentors. So like uh, from my university, there were 15 CODES students and we had three mentors.
different doors from Microsoft who had been assigned to us and we could reach out to them just in case we had any doubts or anything. And then um, uh, we used to get coding assignments and that is how it you know, helped us understand the interview process. We even had some webinars where we would talk about how to prepare for interviews. So All when right. we had uh, Microsoft visiting us on campus, so they had skipped the online tests and group fly rounds for CODES students and we had direct interviews. So I think CODES uh, helped me in getting interviews directly. All right, that, that, that is great. What would be your advice for people looking out for internships in tech companies? So I think uh, from my personal experience, I have had a chance of interviewing with Google, Facebook and Microsoft for internships in the past few months. And from okay. my experience, these companies definitely look out for strong basics in data structures and algorithms. Um, having projects also helps on a resume because uh, a strong resume helps you get an interview, right? But once you get into yeah. an interview in these companies, you should definitely have a very strong hold on DS and algo. So you should practice a lot of questions. If people who are listening to this podcast are interested in tracking these internship interviews, they should definitely practice at least 200 to 300 medium to hard level questions on lead code or interview bit. Because okay. as many questions you practice, um, you get a, you know a stronger hold over the concept. Mm-hmm. And did you prepare this uh, by uh, by a paid course or did you just do it uh, all through uh, for free? Yeah. So as I mentioned that I had joined coding blogs for building my basics. So yeah. uh, just before my internships, I was a teaching assistant there in the C++ batch. So being a teaching assistant, it helped me, you know, understand how to debug other codes, how to learn different approaches of solving a similar problem. So it also helped me be in touch with coding every day. Apart from that course, I referred to the book Cracking the Coding Interview by Gail Lippmann. It's a really interesting book and I think everybody should read it if they are planning to apply for technical interviews. Um, yeah. Then I refer to Geeks for Geeks for the Google Grams and then we used to practice some sites like Geek Code and then Hackerland. Hackerland had a different interview preparation series, which is free of course. It also has some videos to prepare, so I refer to all this content. When did you start in your college? Uh, in which year did you start for preparing for interviews? Um, so I joined Coding Blogs uh, after my first year. So I think that was late because um, once uh, we get done with the basics of data structures and algorithms, we tend to move to different development sites like web development or Android or machine learning. So I think since I started late with coding, so uh, it took me some time to grasp the concepts because I was from non-CS background. Um, but if somebody yeah. is looking to start up, I think it is never too late and it's never too early. So people should start off as early as possible and keep practicing. All right. Thank you so much for that advice. So what's the, um, uh, the advantage of becoming a campus ambassador for, uh, you know, companies like GitHub and Coding Blocks? Um, so these programs are basically for community bondings and building personality because uh, I think technical expertise is not just enough to, you know, crack an interview or be good in any company. You also need some interpersonal skills so that you can make long lasting connections and you can have an impact in whatever field you are working for. So these programs, they help you build connections. They help you grow your network and then you learn some interpersonal skills because through these programs, I have learned leadership skills. I have been able to build communities on campus and off campus. I have been able to build a personal brand for myself. So that is it's really beneficial. And also, since most of these community programs are also technical, I have also got to learn a lot of technical skills. Yeah, a lot of people just focus on the coding part of uh, it and they neglect the soft skills. Yes, soft skills are definitely very essential to help you in the long run in life in general. Yeah, and and you also got into uh, the Google the Google Code in mentorship uh, at TensorFlow. How was that experience like? Um. So yeah. So how I got in? A lot of people ask me that. Um. So before that, I was Google's Explorer ML facilitator. So for that program, also we had a very uh, competitive process to get selected. Um. So since okay. I was a Explorer ML facilitator, so I reached out to the org admin. Uh, I expressed my desire to become a mentor because I really like helping people. Um, and then uh, I'm very grateful to the org admin for accepting me as a mentor. So it was a very great experience being a Google Coded mentor because it was like school students from age 13 to 17 contributing to open source for the first time. 
So we thought that it is our responsibility because if we introduce them to open source in a very friendly way, then they will definitely grow up and contribute more to this field. So through this program, I got to be in touch with a lot of school students. I got to just give them design tasks for them and help them, you know, uh, solve them like in some good manners. Like we used to give them feedback to improve. What are your, what are your future plans? Um, so this summer I will be joining Microsoft as a software development intern. Um, so I'm looking forward to the experience. Post it, I would also like to prepare for further interviews for full time roles. Uh, I aspire to work as a software developer in a multinational company full time. Uh, I also aspire to create an impact in whatever I do. So I'm always driven by impact. So if I'm able to use my technical expertise in solving a real life problem, then I'm more than happy. All right, Khushbu. Uh, so that was uh, really great talking with you. Thank you so much for joining me here on this podcast. And yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you for having me here. I had a really good time. Was Khushbu Verma. I hope you all enjoyed this podcast. I'll make sure that you leave a like down below. Also subscribe to the channel. And I just wanted to keep it real, real short because uh, I, I see that a lot of you guys not able to uh, get to the complete episode because it, it is just too long. So just wanted to keep it short for you all. Um, let me know what was your biggest takeaway by commenting in the comment section below. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.